Hello and welcome to African Brands. It's popularly said, never lose an opportunity of saying anything beautiful, for beauty is of God's handwriting. Kickstarting today's episode, giving insight on the beauty sector of the Nigerian economy, the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of BB Hairs gave insight on the rapid development of the sector and on how her brand is keen on bringing quality products and affordable prices without breaking the bank. Still on our documentary report on the fashion sector of the Nigerian economy, the Chief Executive Officer of Casa of Ochafi, a fashion brand that deals with the production of modest wear, and a continued documentary report on African brand business news. Please stay tuned. Okay, BBA is a Nigerian beauty brand that specializes in providing high end quality extensions. We offer a range of hairs from different um, countries in the world Asia, European uh, continent, yeah. And um, we source our hair extensions from trusted hair suppliers, ensuring you get the best quality. Our team is also, also knowledgeable, they are knowledgeable and passionate about hair. So we can help you to find the perfect extension to make you look beautiful, vibrant, and yeah, that's it. At VBA, our mission is to empower women to feel confident, beautiful, by providing high quality extensions and products. We want to be your go-to brand for women who want to enhance their natural beauty and express themselves through their hairs. Our vision is to become a leading global uh, beauty brand known for our exceptional quality, diverse product range and outstanding customer service. We strive to create a positive and inclusive community where women can celebrate their individuality and express their unique style. We are all about you looking beautiful and fabulous. Okay, so for the beauty sector, uh, beauty sector in Nigeria is a thriving and full potential. With the growing demand for beauty products and increasing focus on safe care and personal grooming, there is a great opportunity for businesses like BB Hair um, for, for us to flourish. Uh, Nigerian customers are becoming more aware of the importance of quality and we are willing to really invest in products that enhance our, be our uh, beauty, yes. As a Nigerian beauty brand, we are proud to be a part of this vibrant sector and contribute to the beauty and confidence of Nigerian women. Okay, running a successful uh, beauty industry, it requires few factors. Um, firstly, having a deep understanding of your target market and their preferences. You need to actually know that. Knowing what Nigerian customers look for in their extensions and products to allow us to provide the right offerings. Yeah? Then secondly, is building strong relationships with our suppliers. It's quite important to ensure consistent quality and availability of our products. Then the third part has to be um, providing excellent uh, customer service to the customers, of course, and creating a positive brand experience. It would help us build uh, trust, you know, and loyalty. And I feel like keeping up with industry trends um, and, you know, continuously innovating our competition and these factors, I feel like these factors should be actually the key instruments in the success of BB Hair. Okay, well, like any other business, BBA faces its fair share of challenges, like any other business. And some of the common challenges we face in the beauty industry in Nigeria, it includes the 
fluctuating exchange rates, uh, the counterfeit products uh, among our products, you know. And I feel like um, logistics to supply chain management can be quite challenging, especially when sourcing has uh, extensions from different parts of the world. However, we will continue to thrive against these challenges and work towards being better in our field, yeah. Um, in the next five years, we are having a big dream for BBA. We envision uh, significant growth of expanding our customers' base, both locally and internationally. We hope to establish more partnerships, increase our product offerings, and continue to provide top-notch quality and customer service. And as for our staff, we aim to build a strong and talented team that shares our passion for beauty and our commitment for empowering uh, where everyone can grow, learn, contribute to success of BBA. And in terms of our world, we hope to be recognized as a leading beauty brand in Nigeria and beyond. And it will be amazing to receive um, accolades of our innovative products, exceptional customer service, and we are excited for the future. Yeah. Okay, you can contact us on Instagram at BBA Extension and, and you can also contact our WhatsApp number at 091-5384-7862 and you can walk into our store at House 11 Road B behind Punch Fortress Estate behind Punch Newspaper along the Lagos Ibado Expressway. That's it. Okay, my name is Ezekiel, like a lot of people know already, and uh, I'm the creative director and the CEO for Kasop Shafi brand, a fashion brand that you should look out for in the next couple of years. You're driving on the road, you're watching CNN, you're watching a fashion TV, you should look out for us. Then if you are also open to fashion as well, you can be seeing us on fashion shows as far as South Africa and different other countries as well. So what we do is bespoke. Although over time we're looking at having it as proper retail as well. I mean, retail store like you can walk up to a standard, up to world standard. So, but for now, what we do is bespoke. We do bespoke for all kind of, I mean, ways you can imagine, likes of suits, natives, uh, agbadas, contemporary tunics and pants. Yeah, the likes of that. Okay, I would, I would take you down back the years, maybe 10, 12 years ago. I had never would think of a wearing Nigerian brand. And it's something that I never actually considered. If you gift me a Nigerian brand outfit, I might never wear it. I'll probably give it out to someone else. But then again, over time, 
I have seen a tremendous growth, growth in when it comes to uh, made in Nigeria clothes, and this really caught my attention as well. Like, okay, the, what? How do we need to make sure that we can bring this? I mean, we, we look at foreign brands. That I do a lot. I used to do a lot of foreign brands. Then, likes of Cy Chui, Junje, some brands that people probably never have heard of, because those guys are actually exceptional in what they do. So, and I look at it that if I have to wear a Nigerian brand, maybe we have to find a way to bridge the quality and the cost here. Right? So then again, I'm not new to fashion. I have been trying to do, I've been doing fashion maybe back then in school on the very minimal scale, selling from the boots, whenever I travel, buy different brands and all that. So it was easy to think about it that way. Like, okay, well, why don't I just go to a fashion school properly and see what I can do about this whole thing? So, yeah, I think for me, the mission is to try and bring luxury to affordability. You get a good quality at a very moderate price. Okay, I won't say infant stage. Honestly, I think we are doing so well, but I think there are, we, there's still a whole lot we need to do, in all honesty, because uh, there are a lot of things that actually take us fashion designers back. Most importantly for me, I look at areas of light in, the, I mean, in this country. So but I feel like, if, if, apart from these little problems back and forth with our own system and all of that. I think we have really gone far, but I think we can still do a whole lot better. Over, I mean, five years is a whole lot because for me, the next one year, next three years, we should be looking at something very different. We are doing expand, we are scaling up literally, that's the plan for this year. Scaling up in the sense that we're going to have a bigger factory, a bigger factory where we have to look at producing items up to about 100 a day. 100 pieces a day, I mean, for a start. So that way we're also looking at opening a, a certain place, uh, I mean, a fashion store that you can walk into, that can actually stand, you, you, you walk in there as if you're abroad, that kind of a standard, that you have an experience, not just with the product, I mean, the environment and the people you meet there. So I think, yeah, um, aside from scaling up, I think uh, there's a whole lot I need to also focus, for me, we're looking at, with the economy, we should be looking at exporting this product very well. We should be looking at that, and which means we have to be earning dollars currently if you have to live up to standard in this country currently because the value is getting so bad. And the good thing is that we have been able to build a market over there. I mean, I could say 30% of my clients live abroad in diaspora, different parts of the world, they order. So if we position the brand so well, which means there's a whole lot to do there as well. We, we actually attend to a lot of different sectors from, I wouldn't say luxury internally, because uh, we also make um, easy pieces that you can just walk in to wear a pant that is unique, a, a shirt that is unique. We make suits for weddings, of course. I think a lot of my clients would say that we focus a lot on celebrities, and I don't know why that perception, that's not what we try to sell. I mean, these guys also appreciate what we do, so we don't choose between who, if you're a celebrity or not. I mean, we everybody's welcome. It's one big happy family. That is why we always use that. If you pay attention to our captions, we always use Casa Family in our caption as well. On Instagram, we are Casa of Oshafi. That's Casa underscore O-F underscore Oshafi. Oshafi is O-S-H-I-A-F-I. Then um, we're on Twitter as well, on Facebook, same handle. Then, um, yeah, our website is running as well, www.kasafushafi.com.
African Brands Business News. The need to ensure a befitting business environment and safety to properties in Nigeria is gathering momentum as industry operators in the security sectors seek innovative measures to do the needful. It is in light of this development that the CEO of Katraka Nigeria, Abegunde Abiodun Michael, stated his mission to ensure affordable tracking security systems with presence in the 16 states as it would be beneficial to the country's business environment and other areas of development. Um, at Katraka Nigeria is to create um, security, affordable security for every car owner. And over the years, we've been able to execute this by presence in over 16 states, making it accessible, making the service of vehicle tracking accessible to everybody. Moving to Car Tracker Africa, we have plans of um, visiting, starting in our neighboring state like Ghana, Ivory Coast, Togo. We've already um, started the plan, we're already, it's already in process. So, um, we would be going offshore very soon. However, he emphasized on its services and his plan within the next years. Cartracker Nigeria is an innovative security and surveillance company. We offer vehicle tracking and basically centered around vehicles. We've been in business since 2011. This should be our 14 or 13 years in business. And over the years, we've grown from um, servicing just uh, B2C, business of client uh, clientele to move into business to business. We even currently support um, major government parastatals. As businesses all over the world gravitate towards technology to achieve better operating environment, Nigerian businesses are gradually following the trend. CEO of Just Ring, Akiwamide Eniola, is of the opinion that consistency, networking, and social media has helped in aggravating businesses. I would say consistency. You have to be very consistent with your business because almost everybody is doing the same business. And if you're not there for your business, it won't grow. And also try to network with more other business for your business to be known. Um, social media generally, has really helped my business because 90% of my customers come from social media, mostly Instagram. So, social media rules the world. So I would say it really helps my business. On the same light, she went further to explain why she's in business and her mission, which is her driving force. Yes, I'm Akiwamde Eniola, I'm married to a wonderful husband and I have three beautiful kids and I started just ring in the year 2018 and I had my second child I was looking for a business to do and since then we give glory to God for the growth we now have a store in Ikeja, Bini and um, Lekki now my mission is to create high quality wedding rings for couples and the vision is to symbolize internal love and commitment to couples with beautiful crafted rings. I would love just rings to be known all over the world because that is presently my dream. And to have a very reliable strength team that cannot be shaken. Let's move to the section where fashion meets class. CEO of Mimi Kwaso, Mimi Ginikachi Chima spoke to African Brands Business News correspondent in Lagos, Shitu Boluwatife, on her brand uniqueness in offering more than just clothing to its customers. It's not just clothing, it's the feeling that comes with wanting to wear Mimi Kwaso. You feel confident, you feel different, you feel unique, you feel a different type of vibe when you're wearing Mimi Kasu because we consider women from all walks of life. We make clothes for women with different body sizes. We even go as far as customizing the fit to make sure that the garments fit women with different um, body types. We design in details and our fits are not just like basic coats. They are tailored to fit, designed with precision, with um, the women who dealt with phenomenal in mind. She also emphasized how she started in 2019 
and her expectations in the next five years. Uh, Mimikasu officially launched in 2019 and um, since then it's been us breaking boundaries basically. So we started off with our first store in Opebi and then we moved to our Lekki um, showroom and um, since then we've been servicing women from different walks of life, different backgrounds, different countries um, with the castle outfits. So in about five years we're looking to be in the global important cities outside the shores of Nigeria and we're also looking to have in the castle in more wardrobes, in more phenomenal women, influential women's um, wardrobe in five years. So um, we're just taking it um, one step at a time and we're really hoping to get there because I mean, so far it's been so good. The ease of doing business in Nigeria seeks to simplify regulatory frameworks, create market-friendly policies and improve the overall operations in the business space. It is in this light that the MDCEO of Paramount Electric, Chinedu Ibe Kaime, emphasized on his commitment to customer satisfaction and innovations in his business. Commitment, we are committed to our customers. Uh, we don't sell our product and run away. If uh, there is any issue, you call back. We have this uh, return policy. Even after one year, if there is any issue, we can assist you. We have our technicians, installers. Innovation. Uh, we believe in a continuous improvement. When you look at the, the type of lights we have, you can see the Versace, you can see, you understand, this is where uh, the innovation comes in. So we believe in the quality. All our lights, we stand behind our lights. So when you buy from us, you are sure of getting uh, the best quality in the market. It's not really about the money or the profit, but you get value for what you uh, order or what you pay for. At Paramount Electric, uh, we are your go-to uh, store for all your lighting needs. Uh, what, what, any type of lights. We have lights for hotels, we have for even your business, studio, um, saloon, for your residence. We sell different types of lights. Yeah, what really uh, makes a Paramount Electric unique? We, we try to understand our customer needs. There's something we're currently doing in Lagos. We call it a payment on delivery. We offer that in order to build trust with our customers. If you live in Lagos, we send our dispatch riders to deliver lights for you. So when you receive, you, you check the content and make sure that they exactly what you ordered before you make payments. We're only doing that in Lagos. Some of the challenges we'll face are uh, power supply. It would be better if we have an uninterrupted uh, power supply here. That would be better. Another challenge we face is uh, to get uh, competent uh, employees, people you can trust. Our office is located at uh, Alaba International Market in Ojo local government in Lagos State. The essence of starting a business is not only to maximize profits, but also to add value to humanity. Chidera Ogudile, CEO of Angel Weezy Lighting Entertainment, spoke about his company's background and his one-year warranty operation. Weezy Lighting Entertainment was actually established in 2017. Then we specialize on club lighting, stage lighting, studio lighting, and most church lighting. So. We did on um, deliveries, like payments on delivery within Lagos. Then we deliver well nationwide to other states, to countries that's within Nigeria, like African countries too. We do deliver to them. So we supply with pretty goods and we can give you a one-year guarantee on any goods that you buy from us. So we do on quality lights. Our brand is Superior Brand. We are located at number 156, Aloja Drive, Alaba International Market, Lagos State. When we said to you, we'll give you a guarantee on it. So when you buy, you can recommend us to your friends, or you can see come back to buy from us again because we sell good qualities. Like have some branches around African countries too. You can contact me. Anywhere you are, we do a bill, we are trustworthy. 
we deliver at your doorstep. Payments on delivery within Lagos. Outside Lagos, you pay before we deliver. So our brand is superior brand, a very good quality that I can trust. And this is African Brands Business News. And on to this note, we call it a wrap on this week's segment of African Brands. And if you miss out on any of this report, you could continue this documentary report on our YouTube page. Or better still, send in your corporate profile to info at africanbrands.com if you want to be part of this documentary report. I remain Christian Obi. Join me same time, same station next week. Thank you.